Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're unboxing this rear view camera system that AutoVox sent us. Um, essentially, it's your rear view mirror with a built in screen and a backup camera system. We're going to show you how you would set this up on your car, um, unbox this item for you so you can see all the essential pieces that it comes with, and give you a good recommendation and a link down below to where you can purchase this. Provo Beats Audio Installation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. Got a warranty card here. We've got a user manual. This looks like it's all our wiring. Tap into the system. And then we have our mirror. Now the cool thing is it's the full mirror itself. So you would actually, rather than just clipping it onto your existing mirror, this replaces the existing mirror. And then if you can kind of see it in the camera, there's going to be, there's actually a built-in screen behind the mirror itself, which will illuminate when you put the car in reverse. Lastly here, we actually have our camera itself. Now this is a license plate mountable camera. It's on a nice piece of aluminum. This will mount right around your license plate. Last little bit here in the box, they do supply you a panel tool, which is awesome. So you can pop your panel safely as you make this look like a factory install. Okay, so we got everything pulled apart here from our unboxing. We have our license plate as, imagine that this is the license plate currently attached to your car. Our camera is right here that comes with the kit. It's gonna bolt directly on the same mounting locations as um, your current plate. And then you're gonna run this either through the hatch or the bumper or wherever it happens to be on the car using uh, quite a bit of wire here. And then it comes to this point. Now this is kind of your T point. Um, this portion separates into two different types of wiring. One end is this long red and black wire, and this is your power wire. This is essentially going to power both your mirror as well as your camera. And so we need to make sure we plug this into a location that receives power only when in reverse, or else this is going to be displaying uh, what's behind you all the time, and most people probably don't want that. So uh, what we have here for visualization purposes is a factory light. Um, we're going to imagine that this is your reverse light on your car. Now, every single wiring color combination will be different depending on your make and model. Um, this happens to be positive as green and negative as white and black. Now, imagine this is installed and this is connected to the car um, and ready to go. So, this red and black wire is going to want to tap into the positive and negative on your reverse light. So, when this light is on, meaning when you're in reverse, this is going to tap into that power, send power through this, it's going to power up the camera, and then this other end here, see this is quite a bit of length, you'll run this all the way to the front of the car, up to the mirror area, and here on our mirror, plug this end in, just like so, completing the circuit. So again, when you're in reverse, this light's going to turn on which means this wire is going to receive power from that light. It's going to power your backup camera and it's going to signal this rear mirror to turn on. That is the only connection that you need to do. This kit is awesome because it's super simple and really um, available to any make and model that you choose to install it on. Now of course there's other bits and pieces to help you make that um, installation a little bit easier. Of course you have your windshield mounting bracket um, if you have to run wires along the windshield, you can use that. That essentially just hooks in um, to cover the wires on the windshield. And a miscellaneous bracket here, depending on your make and model, it comes with these wire taps. These wire taps allow you to tap into these wires a little bit easier. You don't have to use these. Um, of course, you can use heat shrink and uh, be sure to solder too. Um, but that's, that's the actual setup here. Now what I'm going to do, I have our test bench here. Um, I'm going to get some power going here so we can demonstrate what this would look like with this simple two-wire connection. Okay, 
So we have power hooked up just so we can show you what this looks like. And what we've done is just piggybacked on those wires, of course using um, wire caps, which you do not use in a car, but we have it here on the bench. So let's demonstrate putting it in reverse. So the light turns on, obviously, because you're in reverse. The camera gets power. And now our mirror, let's grab this a little closer here for you. It's seeing exactly what um, the camera is seeing. It's displaying that. It's pretty cool. That's it. You don't have to run separate power for it, which is awesome. And then we pull it back out of reverse. The light turns off, meaning that this wire is no longer hot. Camera turns off and the mirror turns off. So that's it. That's essentially it. Now a lot of you may be asking, well, what if I want to actually see what's behind me when I'm not in reverse or driving down the road just to check on a trailer or see how close the car behind me is getting? Well, you can do that, but you don't want to hook this up to this type of source. So rather than having this connect into this portion, what you're going to want to do is connect this into another switch power and ground source and maybe even put a manual switch on it so you can manually turn it on. Um, unfortunately, you cannot cycle this over to reverse mode hooked up to this because there's no other power source. If this light isn't on, the mirror is not going to display uh, what's behind you. So that's the only downside of this kit. Other than that, again, super simple kit. Nice thing is this kit comes with all the instructions of how to install it step by step, even with color photos, which is really cool. Um, depending on your make and model, it'll actually signify which bracket to use as well and it shows you how to wire it all in that's about it for this install again big shout out to autovox thanks guys for sending this over this is a sweet kit we're excited to actually put this in a car down the road here that's about it guys thanks again for watching this video be sure to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video have a great day